my faith journey really started when I was a kid. Uh, my mom and dad, probably like most Christian families, we were in the church quite a bit. But, you know, for us, it was more of a social hour. And, I mean, we went to Bible study, and then after Bible study, we would go to church here. We would sit with all our friends, pass a note the whole time. And so while it was something that we did learn, you know, like just from being a part of it and being in church, you learn. But I don't think I realized the, the important until I left. You know, went to college, and it was like, okay, I can make my own decisions. I can go where I want to, because if we didn't go to church, we couldn't do anything for the rest of the week. So it was like, kind of like a double-edged sword back then. And then, so when I got to college, it was like, okay, I can start making my own choices and figure out, you know, what I want to do. And one of the things that I always, through the ups and downs, even through, you know, college, and you're winning games, you're losing games, your emotions are high, your emotions are low. You know, one of the things that I always knew was that, okay, you know, when I'm low, I can always pick up the Bible and I can always get back on track. And then I go and go and go, and then I get low and I pick up the Bible, you know. So it was never really a consistent thing. And I remember, I think it was our junior year, I came in, it was the Fab Four. And our junior year, uh, my teammates and I, other freshmen, freshmen that came in, Ace Clement, you know, Samika Randall, Teresa Jeter, and myself, we ended up, uh, we were driving, and they were having this big seminar going on, and the title was, Who's Your Daddy? So I was like, hmm, we're going to go check it out. So we all, you know, got dressed up and went over, you know, went over to the church to check out this, and I mean, that night, it really, like, he talked about just, you know, for all of us, my mom and dad are divorced, you know, Ace didn't really know her dad. Samika, her dad was in and out of her life, and then Tree was the only one that really her dad was like stable in her, in her life. And so we all came from different backgrounds, but listening to that message, it was just like, wow, you know, in all actuality, who's your daddy? God is. And he places people to be your surrogate fathers while you're here on earth. And so we t that message just kind of like really opened up everything. And so go after that really we were like you know we're gonna go to church we're gonna do bible study we're gonna you know do more stuff so we did and uh i got hurt my senior year which you know i kind of talked about just from a standpoint of basketball being my god and like yeah you know at that point a year later from that you know the seminar that we went to and so my mindset had changed a little bit but basketball still was my priority i was like okay I can read the Bible, but I really need to get in the gym, so I'll do that later. And then later comes, you know, I really got to do this. I got to watch some film. I got to get some sleep. Or I got to, you know, you know, we kind of come up with different excuses. And so I got hurt. And long story short, really, from tearing my ACL my senior year, like that year after the summer and just the rehab process, you know, I really did get kind of really into the Word. And since then, you know, just the avenues that have come into my life, you know, through our chaplain and through different people that, you know, God always has kind of planted at different places that you meet to keep you focused and keep you going in the right direction. I've dealt with adversity quite a few times, you know, I tore my ACL my senior year, so that was 2001, and then seven months later, I ended up tearing meniscus, so I had to go back under the knife and get another surgery done. So that was the first and second one. And then uh, the next one after that, I partially tore my plantar fascia in my left leg. And then after that, I tore my Achilles. That was like before the Olympics. And then this past year, I tore my plantar fascia in my right leg. So adversity, yes. <laughs> You know, and like I said, I, th I think for me, after I tore my ACL, just my faith had brought me through. And yeah, you know, it's like, gosh, again? You gotta go through this again, you know? But it's, it's just another thing to make you stronger, I suppose.